Hey guys, I'm Zabek here, and today I'm going to show you how to edit movies on an iMovie on your iOS device. The videos I'm talking about is more of like uh, vlog kind of uh, videos, you know, like simple jump cuts, a bigger title, maybe add some music and a voiceover. Let's not talk too much and go straight into the video. But before that, I must say I'm using my iPhone SE obviously an iMovie and sometimes I use this road video mic me for like better quality audio but yeah not always it's kind of I'm recording the iPhone SE screen so it's kind of impossible to use the microphone as well so as you can see I am <laughs> I've been playing around with the videos already I did a test project just to see how this video would look like so for the sake of this video, let's just create a new project. Just keep in mind you have to create a new project, not a like a new movie project, not a trailer project. You will be shown a bunch of clips you have in your camera roll so that you can choose, you know, some appropriate movie clips to edit from. And here I have prepared some videos just for the sake of this video so I'm gonna choose all of these all of these videos um, I'm not sure how it's going to look like but let's do that now let's create uh, you we press create a movie but before that all right let's just say you chose your videos the order is not completely okay but so have a couple of time-lapse videos in mind so I want to import them right here into this project. To do that, let me just press on that plus button. It stands for importing media. And you can import videos, photos, audio, and you know, record from camera and from your microphone. This is where Pro Video Mic Beat comes in handy. And also you can import stuff from your iCloud Drive if you have some. I don't have anything in my iCloud Drive, so I'm gonna import from from you know video folder. Let's just say I'm gonna choose this one. You can either press on a plus sign. This will just import the whole clip, or you can just play the video and see you know like preview it. Maybe it's similar to the one you want, and <laughs> you just kind of have a look. And if you're sure that this is the video you want to import. Then you tap again. This weak sign suggests that you can import only audio. If you don't need the video but only audio, this is what you need to press. And the other icons stand for video overlay. We're gonna use that a bit later. Oh, and by the way, if you don't need the whole clip, you can just drag the sides of the clip so that maybe you want only some small part of your video clip. But in this case, I want the whole time lapse, so I'm just gonna press plus sign. And honestly, I have another video in mind, but I don't think it's in the time lapse folder, so I'm just gonna have to look for it in the camera roll. Yep, here it is. Again, I'm just gonna import the whole clip. So there are several ways to import media to your iMovie project on your iOS device. Could be iTunes, you're gonna have to connect your iPhone to the computer and you know do a few extra steps to import videos. You can also use AirDrop, it's just a wireless way to send files over between your MacBook and your iOS device. There's also stuff like Dropbox or an iCloud drive. Uh, so that you can just download clips from from the internet, you know, from, you must be familiar familiar with that. But it all comes down to saving all of the clips to the camera roll. So I'm just gonna use the camera roll. If you want to know how to import videos to your camera roll from different ways, let me know. I'm, I can make a video about that as well. But yeah, let's keep, let's focus to the video editing stuff. Once we've created a project and imported all of the clips we want to use, here I just want to, you know, sort the videos in some kind of order that 
that I want to express them in. So this clip was meant to be the first one, so I tap and hold and drag it right to the left so it so it stands as a first video clip. I don't want the whole clip, so here's like in the beginning I'm not talking right away, I'm doing doing some stuff and I want to start right where I'm where I start talking to the point so I'm just gonna select the video by tapping on it and drag the left corner right until I don't know my lips start to move uh, let's just check so yeah it's Monday morning yeah we'll be all right um, also there is a moment in this video where I just I just pause for a second because someone interrupted me or I thought that they are were interrupting me but whatever I don't want that part in the vlog or in, in this video so I'm gonna drag the clip and see where is it where is it where is it here someone's approaching the car let's just say I, I don't want I don't want that part here so I just select the clip I select the those scissors icon and I just press on split so the video has been split into two parts I want to cut it right before I stop talking start talking sorry must be somewhere like here again I select and press split this is the part where I'm doing nothing so I just select and delete it let's just see what we have video about Hello. To make this video about how to edit, I think that's all right. Uh, yeah, I just talk. This is my intro, and and again, I'm doing nothing. Select, split, drag. Start when I'm talking. Split, and delete the part where I'm doing nothing. So yeah, um, these time lapses can serve as. Uh, my intro I can also add some like subtitles to it but I think those time lapses take like too much this clip is 20 seconds long you can see it at the top of this of the screen it says 21 seconds and I just wanted to go a little bit faster and maybe I would like to cut it a few ways um, to, to make the video faster I select the clip and choose this icon at the bottom left now keep in mind that iMovie can speed up the video only up to you know 100% I mean like 200% which is like twice as fast and no faster than that yeah now the video is 9.6 seconds long and I'm gonna do the same for the second time lapse video I'm gonna drag this scroll I'm gonna drag this thing up to the to the right and now it's eight seconds long still the clips are too long and that's why I'm gonna select the clip and drag the corners you know to the center three seconds 2.4 seconds I think that's all right it from those and I'm gonna do the same to the second video now what do we have here uh-huh I want this video right after the time lapses so I'm gonna select it and then, whoops, I'm gonna tap and hold, and move to the left, whoops, drag it to the left, right after the time lapse. And as you can see, this video, um, I accidentally recorded it in vertical, so I need to, you know, rotate it. To do that, you're gonna have to select the clip and press on that zoom icon at the top right. Now you're gonna it says pinch to zoom video you're gonna want to you know sort of zoom it out you rotate your <laughs> fingers counterclockwise or 
clockwise depending on how you recorded your video but in, in this case it's counterclockwise oops sorry I mean I deselect the icon and then we rotate it counterclockwise it automatically fits the video up to the edge of the screen so you don't have to worry about that now I know that this clip includes um, some copyrighted song because I was recording it while listening to the radio or you know to Apple music or whatever and I don't want this music to appear on my vlog and I don't want to be like you know banned so we need to remove the mu the music or like the, the sound again you select the clip you press on that volume icon and you just drag the volume to to the left I mean to the zero this way it doesn't have any music and you may also want to make it a bit shorter because no one's gonna want to watch like the whole 13 seconds of me driving these are like the basic tools you can use to edit your video so I'm gonna you know just do the same to to the other clips Another important part of making a vlog kind of video is transitions and usually the simplest way to you know make transitions in your vlog videos is no transition so it's called jump cuts so if you're gonna do jump cuts you see those like small squares between the video clips uh, you can't select it to change the way clips are you know transition um, by default iMovie chooses to use the solve and I mean you can choose anything you like and keep in mind that each of those transitions have like sub subtypes I mean different kinds of transitions right inside those are like groups of transitions so if you select this slide you can tap it again and it's gonna slide from right to the left you're gonna select it again and it's gonna use the slide from bottom to top and if you're gonna tap it again it's gonna use slide from top to bottom and there are like different kinds in each of the group I mean you can just try them all out not all have like different types of, of transitions but for the sake of the of the vlog kind of video I'm gonna use I'm not gonna use any transition so I choose none um, so yeah just press play yeah yeah usually that's how I edit I'm gonna switch all of the transitions back to none I mean I mean if you want you can use like other types of transition I mean all right, let's just use slide and you can you can choose how long the transition will take to, you know, switch from one clip to another. That's why you have those like milliseconds at the top left. I mean, at the bottom left corner of the screen. Um I don't like transitions taking like too long, so I'll choose about 0 0.5 seconds. And and it's alright to slide it from left to right. Oops. <laughs> I forgot to cut this clip. Yeah, that's alright. Remember I was talking about like video overlays that we were supposed to use later? Now, here are a few options. Now you select the clip, press on import media or plus here's here's what you can do you can either put the whole clip on top here's how it looks like um, I'm not sure why would why would you want to do that you can, this is practically useless because it covers the whole video at the, at the base layer so once you have the video overlay when you select the video on the top layer you have the video overlay option on the 
bottom left corner right after the sound settings so here's the video overlay settings and here are the different kinds of overlay settings you can choose like the one I like most is this one you can sort of drag your video around once you select this setting Whoops. it says drag to position pinch to resize so once you have this select you can move your video around um, you can you know pinch it zoom it out make it smaller it has its limits though but this way you can sort of make your own like mobile video game stuff like videos and post it right from your mobile device the other options are like half and half like vertical half and half horizontal it just uses different positions but I like this one by the way um, I just need to I just need to time it better so I'm just gonna select and drag it around somewhere maybe like here I don't know I'm gonna delete this one because it's exactly the same video I'm gonna time it like trim it like this and somehow it says it doesn't have sound we need some sound because I'm talking stuff right over there let's just check I think the city is preparing for the Central Asian New Year stuff the Nauru's, Nauru's, it's called differently in different does it make sense? I mean this is how you can make the video look like I mean don't don't look at the content of what I'm saying uh, because it just doesn't make any sense right now so yeah by the way if you did any kind of mistakes and you want to go back to where it was you can press on that back or undo button uh, on the right so if you press that it's gonna return back to where you were and you can do this as many times as you want so don't worry about making any mistakes just keep experimenting and your videos will become better and better so the last part we want to do is to add some music and there are several different ways again it's similar to importing video clips you can do it like in different ways but the way I have it right now I have it set up right now is I've downloaded a copyright free music to my iTunes on my MacBook Pro and I have it synced with my Apple Music via uh, iCloud Drive and when it got synced I've downloaded it from Apple Music to the device so that it doesn't have to does it make sense so that it's it is being stored in Apple Music but on the iPhone that way I can easily import music from right from the library to the project to the iMovie project and as you can see I'm gonna press play go back to different kinds of media I'm gonna press on audio it's gonna show me like different options by the way you can also use sound effects which is pretty cool you can use like I don't know like cartoon effects or like funny funny fine kind of stuff sound effects well, you know what I'm talking about for example you know cartoon sending yeah and stuff like that but I'm here for the music so um, Oh, by the way, you can also use theme music if you if you're just unsure how to import like other kinds of music, and you can just use uh, the theme music you've been provided by default. But 
I don't think anyone uses that uh, or nobody needs this guide for people using theme music so let's just go to songs um, I'm not just gonna use any 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 song but well let's say for example I'm gonna use this one downloaded it for YouTube so I'm just gonna press use I mean there are different I mean there are other ways to import music and I'm just gonna I'm gonna talk about it in a different video just you know never mind um, so we have our music imported and the fun part about iMovie is that it automatically mutes the music well, it does mute the music, but it makes the volume lower when it detects uh, some other sounds in your video clip. So, here in this first video clip, uh, I'm talking about stuff, and the music is gonna be like the music's volume is gonna be lower, lowered automatically by iMovie. I'm not doing anything to that. And once I stop talking and the time lapses, start to roll the music goes back on to 100 percent let's well let's see i'm gonna make a few clips and we're gonna edit from those um, actually i need to increase the volume of like my other clips but you get the picture i'm gonna just I don't know, hundred and thirty percent. I hope that's enough. Oops. Let's see. So yeah, it's Monday morning. I had my breakfast and I'm finally ready to make this uh, to make this video about to make this video about um, to edit. If it's still kind of hard to hear me up uh, to hear me in this video. I can still choose the song, I mean tap on the song clip and reduce the sound by just by a little bit so that so that it will be easier to hear me when I'm saying stuff. Yeah, why not just use the fade option on the right? Here's what we have here, and we have fade right in here. Um, I guess this is it So to finish off the video, I'm gonna just add subtitles or like intro title to the video and to do that we're gonna Have to select a video clip where we want the text to appear now we tap on the text icon on the bottom left corner and We can choose like different kinds of intro video titles I believe this one's like the most popular one but since it's the most popular one it looks kind of like a eh, like beginner ish level but this one looks all right so yeah i'm gonna choose this one and we tap on like this tap on the screen where we want to type the text and edit on imovie If you want to go even further, you can use some sort of color correction, but it's not quite color correction, but you know, you choose the clip and you press on those like three circles and this is like a filter kind of thing, you know, similar to Instagram's filters or like Visco filters, but for video. And if you choose like different ones, like Blockbuster will give you that Blockbuster feel. Pretty basic, not like cinematic, but still some kind of like filter. So yeah, this is pretty much it. The only thing left is to export the video. Now, 
uh, you might want to you know export it in full HD like 1080p or even in 4k what iMovie does is that it will allow you to export in the resolution that you use for video clips inside what that means is that if you use video clips that are 1080p iMovie will let you export the video in 1080p or lower not 4k but if you use 4k video clips inside the project you will be allowed to export in 4k that's how it works so yeah we to export the video we press done and we press that little arrow icon on the bottom uh, I'm gonna save it just save the video to save it on your in your camera roll or you can use different options like Dropbox, I don't know, iCloud Drive, or you can send it directly to Facebook or any other social media, even to Instagram. But I'm gonna just save it to video. Here's the options we have. As you can see, I didn't record in 4K, so I have the option of saving it in full HD or lower resolution. So I'm gonna use 1080p, of course. Um, I'm gonna put the rest uh, I'm gonna put the result of this video project at the end of this video right after this clip so yeah I mean if this was helpful you know what to do subscribe of course and, you know if you have any other ideas Feel free to mention them in the comments, I will be more than happy to make videos about those as well. Comment if it does look like a vlog kind of video, uh, I was just wondering, I don't know. So yeah, see you in the next videos guys.